can't get it out of my mouth. And you don't like peanut butter? No. <laughs> you like peanut butter, Kim? I love it. Okay. I'm gonna put you to sleep now, Alex. Okay. Now put him under. What are you planning to do? Consciousness is nothing more than the processing of information. I'm gonna fix him. And he won't know the difference. Raymond? Yeah. We just ran focus groups at Ryan Correctional Facility. We call this combat mode. It really put the fear of God into the prisoners. Yeah, that's okay. I'll get a load of this. What's that? He transforms. Kids love it. Really? Focus group numbers through the roof. Really? Oh, yeah. That's really embarrassing. What is this? You know what? People really don't know what they want until you show it to them, most of the time. Make them more uh, tactical. Make them look, uh... let's go with black. Yeah. Looks like a billion dollars. 2.6 billion. Raymond Sellers, I've looked forward to meeting you, Detective. I really appreciate everything you've done for me. Well, we founded this program to give men like you a second chance. You just do your best today. Shall we? Lunch. Mr. Sellers, we're ready for you. Okay, great. Chief Detective Jim Schumann. Good morning, folks. <laughs> Okay, so this is how it's gonna be. We're going toe to toe. Last man standing wins. I hit you, you go back to the drawing board. You hit me, you get a ticket back home. My guys are gonna be shooting 47 caliber rounds. Do a little damage. They can't take you out. But make no mistake, Tin Man. My gun will. Alex, listen to me. The EM 208s will try to maneuver you so Maddox can get a clear shot. Do not let that happen. If Maddox hits you, everything but your life support will shut down. You'll feel more pain than you've ever felt in your life. I don't know about that. I've been through a lot. <laughs> All right. I say we go in three. Three. down there whatever you do don't get shot in the face Doing this. 
His software is faster, his hardware is stronger. He's a better machine. But you said humans hesitate. Only when they're making decisions. He's not making decisions? Or yes and no. In his everyday life, man rules over the machine. Alex makes his own decisions. Now, when he engages in battle, the visor comes down, and the software takes over. And uh, the machine does everything. Alex is uh, he's a passenger, just along for the ride. But if the machine is in control, then how is Murphy accountable? Who's pulling the trigger? When the machine fights, the system releases signals into Alex's brain, making him think he's doing what our computers are actually doing. I mean, Alex believes right now he is in control, but he's not. It, it's the illusion of free will. circumvented the law by creating a machine that thinks it's a man, but that's illegal. No. No, no, no. It's a machine that thinks it's Alex Murphy, and in my book, that's legal. Well done. Well done. Hey, doctor, what happens if I taste an exoskeleton with the little asshole inside? I, uh, I think... We're all curious to find out. Go ahead. 